Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, let's go see what these ten spheres do. Didn't that look vaguely like a phoenix? Time to face my past. Come on. All right, here we are. And since last time I did adjust my setup, so you know, she's still on Hybrid Winds with the mascot AP Egg and Smooth Shaling. For Riku, Hyrule Winds, Mascot, Speed Bracer, and Ribbon. Uh, we should not need Death Protection in here, ironically enough. And for Pain, Hyrule Winds, Mascot, Speed Bracer, and Ribbon as well. For Abilities, we're still working on Ribbon for all three of them, so... Uh, yeah. Alright. So let's go. Whoa! So, yeah, that's another feature of this cave, is if you recall, the first time we got to the Mushroom Rock Road, they were having some fog issues. Yeah, uh, that fog is in here, so I'm going to have to stop any time it gets too dark, so, yeah. But let's, uh, let's go see what's in here. All right, and here we have Crimson Shadows. Uh, fallen crimson soldiers, I guess. Or crimson uh, uh, trainees, I guess. Anyways. Crimson Shadows have 2020 HP with 114 MP. Can steal one to two Phoenix Downs from them. Uh, they're neutral to all elements. They are susceptible to eject, slow, delay, interruptions, and percentage-based damage, and they are still susceptible to all forms of debuffs, so all four breaks and accuracy, evasion, luck debuffs. Uh, I believe the only attack they have is physical, so yeah, pretty uh, standard, so let's do this. But yeah, any paths I do not go down, uh, they just literally lead to dead ends. Nothing in them, so yeah. Alright, uh, another four way intersection. Let's keep one straight. see you in his uh, outfit when it gets that dark in here. Alright, before I move another step, I'm going to adjust our setup to something a bit more appropriate. Alright, so for Yuna, she's on Tempered Will. I've got the Government Grid set up, as you can see there, with the uh, Mascot, Thief, and Gun Mage, and with the Thief and Mascot on either side of that double HP gate there. She's on Mascot with the Ribbon and Ragnarok. Riku's on Tempered Will as well, starting on Thief, Speed Bracer, and Smooth Shaling. And for Pain, Tempered Will, Thief, Speed Bracer, and 
ribbon here, so yeah. Uh, the reason why we are not putting any damage boosting uh, accessories on Riku and Pain is simply because uh, we can get our next blue bullet skill here, so yeah. And it, uh, the one in question requires uh, reaching a certain threshold of damage before uh, it, the skill will get used. Uh, so yeah, we don't want to overdo it on the damage department so that we can get it. So or get it with the least amount of trouble. So yeah. All right, and for abilities, uh, yeah, still working on ribbon for all three of them. Uh, for Yuna, I've got her learning Pilfergill there. And uh, yeah, uh, Riku got her back on a sticky finger since learning Soul Swipe. And still working on Ribbon for her with the mascot. And yeah, so she's still working on scan level 3 here. So yeah, she'll be taking care of any scanning we need to do as we're taking the HP down. So yeah. And then Pain obviously is uh, yeah, still looking for the uh, those last three abilities there. And obviously she's still working on the mascot as well, and uh, her Thief Dress Fear is still working on the Master Thief there, so yeah. Alright, that's about it, so let's go. memories and make them eternal those were the guys memories from back then preserved by the pyreflies memories or two-year-old nightmares older than that <gasps> Shuyin! you i wanted to rest forever but the pyreflies make me relive that moment Again, and again, and again!
This is our story, Len. Don't make me say this again! Turn on each other indeed. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then we are, needless to say, facing Riku. Riku has 7800 HP with 92 MP, can steal a Bushido lore accessory from her. Uh, she is immune to gravity. She is susceptible to sleep, darkness, confused, berserk, and slow, and any debuffs we throw her way as well. Uh, she does. Uh, Mainly physical based damage, um, but she can use elemental gems. Uh, those gems, you know, the items are not affected by shells, so heads up there. But she does use grenades as well. I can't remember if grenades are magic or physical based, but they are affected by protect and or shell, whichever it is affected by. So we will be using that. And uh, yeah, we will be going after the Abushido lore with uh, Yuna here. So, all right, so first things first, let's get wall and regen up on Yuna. Elemental items will always do about 300 damage or so. So, yeah. Get the buffs up. Let's go over to Thief and uh, see if we can't get that Bushido Lord. Obviously, we are not using sticky finger here, fingers here, so it may take a few tries. <coughs> Pardon me. Ooh, got on the first try. Nice. And now Pain as well. Pain has 9200 HP with 55 MP. You can steal a sword lore accessory from her. Uh, same elemental and status and uh, def debuff affinities as uh, Riku. So, yeah. And I do believe the only attack she has is her physical attack. So, yeah. But just like Riku, we're going after the sword lore. So let's get Yuna's buffs up. Thief. 
Alright, first try. Gotta like to see that. died a thousand years ago, his feelings became intertwined with the fireflies, creating this apparition. He's like a dream, or a nightmare. He must have had some serious regrets for his feelings to act on their own like that. This is what destroyed the squad, despair strong enough to crush the minds of those it touches. What just happened to us happened to them, too. Here, they felt Shuyin's despair. They went mad. And they died. They killed each other. Riku and Pain are snapped out of it, so they are back with us, <clears throat> and we are facing Barrel Eye. Now, I do not believe Barrel Eye is any different from, as far as abilities wise, uh, from when we fought him at the end of Chapter Three. So yeah, we can. This is our second and I believe final opportunity to get the Drill Shot Blue Bullet skill for Pain. So I'm going to be going after that, if you recall. Uh, he'll counterattack with this skill uh, with whoever targets him the tenth time. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna have Riku keeping an eye on his HP so that the scan does count towards his uh, ten count, and so does any uh, curing him. Uh, I do not believe Kurja or anything we use like Kurja, Regenja, or Walja or anything like that we use on our party. I do not believe, unlike uh, the uh, Alchemist Mix ability. That does not count toward his uh, count, so yeah, it's just scan, curing, and attacking will be our counter for him. So yeah, I'm just going to make sure that pain is the la is the tenth quote unquote attack, and then we should get it just fine. All right, so Barrelai, he has twelve thousand two hundred twenty HP with seven hundred twenty MP. You can steal the nature's lore accessory from it, from him. Sorry, <laughs> I guess technically it because it's just a memory of him. But uh, yeah. Uh, Immune to gravity and immune to all status ailments. However, he is still susceptible to all of the debuffs as well. So accuracy, evasion, luck, and all four breaks. Uh, so yeah, just refresher. He can inflict stop, silence. He can damage your MP. So basically reduce your MP to zero. So that's why we got the Ragnarok on Yuna. So that we don't have to worry about the, her MP for healing. And he does do percentage-based damage. Uh, so yeah, let's just get uh, Riku and Pain stealing from them, and then uh, get them over to Gun Mage and get to work on learning that ability. So go for you, sticky fingers. And let's get to Yuna with Regenja. So that's two targets of Barrel Eye As well. It's three. Suffer. Four. 
for... Five. Six. Right, let's heal him up. Seven. Eight. Should use drill shot on a pin. It's not over. And there she has it. Alright. Let's get them over the mascot and let's finish him off. Oh, she's still got MP. Why not? <laughs> Next up is Gipple. Gipple has 14,800 HP with 273, 200, 235, anyways, <laughs> 235 MP. You can steal a white lore accessory from him. And just like Berla, he is immune to gravity and all status ailments, but still is susceptible to all of the debuffs. Uh, and he can inflict darkness, silence, and percentage based damage, and that's about it. Uh, he does have the next. Uh, blue bullet skill which we are going after and he is the one we need to get his HP down to a certain threshold in order for him to use it so yeah all right so at that threshold we need to get him down below 75% which is about is below 3500 HP so we need to do that and then uh, he should use it it's AoE so Riku and Pain should get it no matter what uh, when he uses it as long as they're on gun mage so let's get uh, let's get them over to yeah, let's do the uh, Thief and all that fun stuff. Why not? I'm really surprised Pain still has MP, but you know, all right, let's get yeah, let's get Regenja up. All right, steal. Go since we can still and get them over the gun mage. Alright. So yeah, I'll have uh, Riku using the scan again since you know she can use the uh, ability points. Six thousand damage or so. Uh, yeah, get really close. Scan them. All right, one more hit should do it. Now we just gotta. Stay healed up and wait. All right. <laughs> As you can see, he's off screen there, but he finally used it. Yeah. Can take a little while for him to use it, but he used it. We learned it. Let's finish him off.
Uh, wow, Pain still has MP. And now, Nuge. No blue bullet skills to speak of, but we still need to be careful because once his HP gets below, uh, gets uh, too low, um, he'll start using an ability that will, that takes off 5,000 5, HP uh, across the board. So yeah, that's why we got the tempered will garment grid on, in case you were wondering why. I wasn't really uh, giving any uh, rhyme or reason to it, really. So yeah, that's why we got the tempered will on. So yeah, we're going to be sending all three of them through the gate so that uh, we can uh, help ensure our victory in this. So yeah, Nuge has 23,800 HP with 720 MP. You can steal an arcane lore accessory from him. And just like Bearline Gipple, he is immune to... Uh, well, he's got the same uh, elemental status and uh, debuff immunity. So yeah, he's susceptible to all of the debuffs. Alright, so he can damage our MP as well. He's got physical attacks, he's got magical attacks, and yeah, he's got that one... Uh, uh, critical uh, HP attack so yeah I believe he only uses that attack once so yeah but all right so let's uh let's do this let's get, uh, yeah, let's get them through the gates uh you know let's get you uh buffing first and uh, oh yeah steal Yeah, I believe he does percentage-based damage as well, unless I'm misremembering something. I got it on the first try, so I don't need to do that. Oh, why am I going over to that? Oh. <laughs> don't need gun mage this battle. This, this battle. Survive, she survived. Oof, that was close. Yeah, our HP is getting a little too low. Let's try not to go too nuts on the damage until we can get Yuna's HP back up. Oh yeah, we gotta get her through the gate. Get her through that before we do any more attacking. Whew. She almost died. See you on the far plane. Oh, I don't really want to attack, but I will. I'm just gonna make sure we get this. For farewells. Come on, you know. To avoid it. No one uses my friends. Anyways, let's go outside. I don't want to be here. Me either. It was Shuyin. Two years ago, the guys encountered Shuyin's memories and learned of Vegmigan. 
After we escaped, they said they would uncover the truth behind it. But then, Nuge shot us. We thought he'd betrayed us. But Nuge wasn't Nuge. I understand now. Shuyin was using him the whole time. Let's go find him, Payne. Agreed. We've got to free him from Shu. Not so fast. What? Remember when the three of them were meeting in the Bevel underground? All these fireflies came floating out of Nuji's body in a big cloud. And then they went whooshing into Barely's body. So doesn't that mean Shu Yin's using Barely now? Oh. Hey, Riku, not bad. <laughs> I guess it's Barely we're saving then. By the way, you'll be helping. Why wouldn't we? Yeah, you've already dragged us all over Spira. Thank you. <sighs> all right, so yeah, <clears throat> lots of experience in Gil. So yeah, we got the Black Lore from Riku's Fight, the Champion Belt from Pains, the Crystal Ball from Barrel Eyes, the Kaiser Knuckles from Gipples, and the Magical Dances Volume 1 from Nuge. And we got the Supreme Light Garment Grid as well. And for once, I'm not complaining about uh, teleporting us back to the airship after that episode complete. <sighs> so yeah, lots of accessories there. Let's take a look at our rewards. Yeah, go through the green gate, you can use auto life and go through all three of them, you can use holy. Uh, nice. And then obviously the accessories, let's just do this because yeah. All uh, duplicates. Uh, where are they? There's a two bushido lore. Uh, there's the there's the two sword lores. Two black lores. Uh, champion belts. It's up there. Nature's lore. Got two of them. And yeah. the white lore. Yeah. Oh, where is it? There. Two of them. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so we got two champion belts and the crystal ball. There we go. All right, so Magical Dances Volume One is out. What I think it is, you might be asking yourself, and yes, that is the key to the last skill for the songstress. Which is this? MP Mambo reduce the M party's MP cost to zero while dancing. So yeah. Between those two, I'd probably still say Magical Mask is the way to go first, so, yeah. Alright, so we have officially cleared out the Den of Woe. Uh, I do not believe there's anything else there for us, so, yeah. Let's take a look at our completion. Not expecting any completion percentage, or uh, completion checkpoint or anything like that, but... We're inching closer. So, all we really need to do is finish clearing out the Via Infinito. And as you no doubt saw from the Black Elemental, things are getting a bit tougher. So, that means when I said we were leaving there for the first time, that when we came back, we were going to be in a bit different position. And that indeed is, we are going to be grinding up to level 99. And uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, we can, I believe in testing, I think it took me about four hours to do in total. Uh, but while we're doing that grinding, I'm actually going to be working on getting all three mascot ribbon abilities learned as well. So yeah, we're gonna be doing, doing that a lot while we are getting up to level 99, but All right, so I'm going to be going over that next time. Um, it's obviously with the uh, all three of them having the ribbon ability learned. You should be good. Well, not 
life because if you recall ribbon does not protect against death so yeah i guess we're gonna have to make a stop at uh, owaka's shop the owaka's shop and picking up pick up another safety bit just in case so yeah so we can have three of them but uh yeah so next time we'll take care of that and then we'll head off to where I plan on doing the uh, grinding, which is the Thunder Plains, the, that Machina cave that we went in, that we found. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be using that. Uh, if you know of any better way, better place to do the, the grinding, um, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, and yeah, or even just leave it if uh, it's if it's after the fact, uh, leave it in the comments for next episode so that uh, those coming in. Uh, like I said, after the fact, uh, they can use that spot instead. But I find the Thunder Plains to be nice nice and reliable. Uh, very few status immunity, status effects you need to worry about. And we can just basically go in there, start ripping uh, Machina apart, battle after battle, and uh, get up to level 99 that way. So, yeah. All right, so we'll take care of that. Pick up the safety bit next time. And, uh, yeah, again, I guess we'll head there and uh, get to work. Go over exactly our setups. The setup I plan, setups I plan to use, and then we'll go from there. This is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Cirrhic1983. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button on your way out, and I thank you wholeheartedly from the bottom of my heart to uh, uh, for your support. And uh, yeah, that support definitely helps get this content to those who are looking for it, for those who are looking for 100% playthroughs of Final Fantasy X-2. And yeah, again, I thank you for helping me get this content to them. In any case, if you're looking for anything else to watch, why not head on over to my other channel, Intrepid83, to see if there's anything there, anything there that could potentially earn your subscription over there. And if it does, well, I'll see you over there. And until next time, thank you for spending some of your time here. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.